All right, here we have a Tedwood Island. This is a custom island in White Oak. It's gone through a, a six stage finishing process to achieve that sort of weathered oak look. You can see that beautiful uh, sort of grain pattern and the various levels of, of uh, finish that have gone into achieving that look. It's really a beautiful piece. Um, this particular island I wanted to show you because when you have inset cabinets, you can you can butt the boxes together, or what you can do is you can adjoin the cabinet boxes in a continuous run so that you have that same reveal all the way around each one of the drawers and doors. So it does add quite a bit of cost to do this, but it's a much higher end, uh, much nicer overall look, I, I think, with especially with when you have a painted cabinet run. Um, when you have wood, you don't see... Uh, the 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 boxes butting together, you don't see the the, the line between the boxes as much. Um, this particular island has uh, shaker doors with slab drawer fronts. Um, really a nice contrast and really beautiful color on the slab door fronts. Uh, what we did here is we added uh, a number of different accessories and walnut interior drawer boxes. Most standard uh, cabinetry comes with maple interior drawer boxes. You can upgrade to walnut, which has a beautiful, beautiful contrast against either white cabinetry or wood like white oak. And then you can add in cabinet accessories, which we did here. You've got your cutlery divider. And then you've got here a double trash rollout. And then on this side, we've got just a regular door and drawer storage with just your your standard shelf in there, but all the drawer boxes have the walnut finish, which is just a nice higher end look. So we can adjoin these cabinet boxes into a, into one piece, I think up to 10 or 12 feet, and that's what you're seeing here.